Hey, 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 Divas, you're listening to our daily devotion, part of our 30-day Marching to Melt My Belly Challenge, right here with the Divas of Fit, Fine, and Fabulous. And I am your host, Nicole Coach Twy Twyman, ready to guide you through daily doses of divine inspiration from my new book, Go to God for Your Goals, Girl. Our mission, to inspire black and brown women to walk in faith and love themselves fiercely, one step, one devotion at a time. So let's lace up, step out in faith, and get started, sis. Welcome to week three of our Go to God for Your Goals Girl devotional. Today is day 15. I'm so proud of you for finishing those two weeks. Let's get started on page 74 of our devotion. If you are walking, grab your earbuds. Let's get the walking together while I read to you. And if you're seated and you're reading alongside, let's do it, sis. Again, I'm on page 74. Today's topic is cultivating resilience. And the quote of the day is resilience is not what happens to you. It's how you react to, respond to, and recover from what's happened to you. All right. We're going to be talking about Job today. uh, And the scripture that we've chosen is pretty lengthy. So I'm going to read the story of Job and it's found in Job chapter one, verses one through 12. So I'm going to read 12 verses, but I believe all of these verses will help you to get the gist of the story of Job so that we can break it down for our own lives. So let's go, sis. Job was honest inside and out. A man of his word who was totally devoted to God and hated evil with a passion. He had seven sons and three daughters. He was also very wealthy, 7,000 head of sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 teams of oxen, 500 donkeys, and a huge staff of servants, the most influential man in all of the East. His sons used to take turns hosting parties in their homes, always inviting their three sisters to join them in their merrymaking. When the parties were over, Job would get up early in the morning and sacrifice a burnt offering for each of his children, thinking maybe one of them sinned sinned by defying God inwardly. Job made a habit of this sacrificial atonement just in case they sinned. One day when the angels came to report to God, Satan, who was the designated accuser, came along with them. God signaled out Satan, singled out Satan and said, what have you been up to? Satan answered, uh, answered God going here and there and checking things out on earth. God said to Satan, have you noted my friend Job? There's no one quite like him, honest and true to his word, totally devoted to God and hating evil. Satan retorted, so do you think Job does all that out the sheer goodness of his heart? Why no one ever has it so good. You pamper him like a pet. Make sure nothing bad ever happens to him or his family or his possessions. Bless everything he does. Listen, Job can't lose. But what do you think would happen if you reached down and took away everything that is his? He'd curse you right to your face. That's what. Then God replied, we'll see. Go ahead and do what you want with all of his. Just don't hurt him. Then Satan left the presence of God. Woo! God gave permission to Satan to just come down on Job. And let's talk about Job's resilience. Today's affirmation says, is I am resilient and I grow stronger through life's challenges, not weaker. I'm going to say that again because a lot of us are feeling weak when things come our way. I am resilient. Say that with me. I am resilient and I grow stronger through life's challenges, not weaker. So the devotion of the day is, since we need to talk about the power of resilience, I mean, you know um, how you would have responded if you were taken, if everything you had and everything you own was taken from you, like how would you have responded? Let's actually think about this as it relates to your health. How do you respond when you, when you have a headache, right? Like how do you respond when you just don't feel like doing what you need to do? How do you respond when there's a conflict? How do you respond with that fast food when it's calling you, sis? 
I'm asking all these questions to illustrate we give up so easily. We absolutely do. We let the smallest things interrupt our healthy habits, causing us to yo-yo. What do you think Job would do when faced with obstacles that may ruin his temple for God, his body? Job had resilience, sis. Resilience is a spiritual and emotional muscle. Just like physical exercise strengthens your body, facing life's challenges can strengthen your resilience. Discuss with yourself, sis, how resilience is vital for maintaining healthy habits and deepening self-love, especially when faced with obstacles. Reflect with me on the lessons we can learn from Job's story. The importance of maintaining faith in challenging times. He didn't care about his material things. Even the death of his kids didn't stop him from worshiping God. Because you know the devil went after them, sis. The devil went after all of his kids and all of his things. And Job was left with just about nothing. But he still believed in God. And then here we are. We might have a slight headache. We not, we may be late to a meeting. We may forget our food. We may be struggling with a bill. We may have gotten a diagnosis that we don't like. And sis, we don't persist. We end up just quitting or, or feeling low or, or feeling low energy. Where is your resilience? Right? Where is your Job-like resilience? Right? We didn't read all the specific verses about Job's family dying and the cattle being killed and all of that. The, the cause Satan went all the way in on Job, but I'm sure you remember that. But Job had a community to help him work through what he was feeling. So you can go back and read the full chapters of, of Job, but he had community around him, sis. There is strength in numbers. We all need to find strength and community in this sisterhood. It's such a great place to start. So when you're trying to be resilient and trying to do it on your own, I've said it so many times before and I'll say it again, it's just not possible. It is so hard to do it alone. It is impossible to do it without God, but definitely super hard to do it without companionship and sisterhood. What doesn't kill us make us stronger? What's meant to hurt and harm us can actually grow us through adversity. What does your adversity do to you? Does it strengthen your resilience? Or, or, or do you cower and run in a corner and say and, and whine like, oh, woe is me. This is happening. Like, how strong is your faith? How strong is your resilience? Especially as it relates to your health goals. So since when you are ready to give up and you're like, oh, this meal prep is too much. Oh, this walking is too much. Oh, it's been a whole two weeks and I got two weeks left. I can't do it. When you're ready to give up, I want you to think of Job. I want you to think of how uh, the God allowed his, his he had 10 kids, they all died. His wife told him to curse God, he refused to. He, his, all of his belongings, everything was taken away from him, but he still believed. So I'm asking you to believe like Job. I'm asking you to have the faith like Job that God is going to turn that thing around. That even though you can't actually see the end, that you're still going to have faith that the end is what God designed it to be for your life. Think of Job when you're ready to give up. What would Job, what would Jesus do? That's what we need to be thinking about when we're ready to just give in time and time again. Let us go to God to prayer, sis. Dear God, as we explore this concept of resilience today, we are reminded of the story of Job who endured immense suffering yet remained faithful to you. Grant us the strength to face challenges, Lord, like Job with unwavering faith and trust in your plan just like he did, Jesus. Help us. Help us, Lord. Help us find the resilience. Help us pull out the resilience that you that you embodied in us, oh God. Help us.
to find that resilience, to persevere through setbacks, knowing that they can be stepping stones to greater growth if we don't stop here. Lord, help us to push past the pain. Help us to step around any issues. Help us to have a resilient mindset, Lord. May we draw strength from our community of sisters and deepen our commitment to our health and self-love with you, Lord, leading the way. Stay with us, hold us, guide us, direct us, step with us. Don't leave us. We need you, Lord. We need you today to help us finish this race strong. Lord, we are halfway through this challenge, God, and we believe that through faith and through your word and through your strength and through your power that is within us, that we can complete this thing like we've never completed anything before. Lord, we are standing before you in need of you, in need of your prayer, in need of your, in, in need of everything deserving that you know that you know you want us to have. Help us to pull it down, Lord. Help us to receive all the blessings you have for us. Help us to not quit short of our gifts, short of our goals, short of all the things you have for us, Lord. Help us to remain resilient and press towards the mark. In your name, Lord, we are praying, sisters. And everyone on this call, everyone listening to the sound of my voice, we all say, Amen. Hey guys, thank you for listening to our Go to God for Your Goals Girl devotion today. If you've completed all of your steps for the day, make sure to complete your Diva Reflection found in your devotion. Post your selfie in our Facebook group. Mark this lesson complete in our app. Hopefully today's devotion nourished your spirits and empowered you to stay the course on your journey to living a more fit, a more fine, and a more fabulous life with God at our side.